Welcome to some good news, Trio Edition. Feels good to be free. the world am I free? Everywhere I go, I always know that I'm always free. Talking about today. Laurel. Laurel. She's an amazing work study student. Um, sure is. <laughs> She's really good at writing too. Writing oh, too. For real, so good. Um, yeah. Without further ado, let's watch some Laurel. Video. Hey guys, uh, Xander Walls here, and I would like to introduce you to someone really awesome. Uh, she's one of our work study students that has returned uh, for another year, um, and her name is Laurel Dorr. Hello, Laurel. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's Monday. Um, working. Life's good. Life's good. So I was hoping we could take a little bit of time and just kind of get to know you a little bit. So we have a lot of new uh, students, um, and it's just kind of nice to put a face to the person that's helping. Um, so thank you for the time. This is really cool. Um, so qu question number one, and I'm going to go at it really you know, hard. What is your favorite color? Blue. Whoa. Actually, teal is probably more specifically, but I like so many different kinds of blues. It kind of changes like every week, but it's always oh. blue. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Let me let me modify it. Like what what's like something that really looks good in teal? Like what a favorite color be like a bouquet of flowers or or in my bedroom. Ah! It's pretty, like, <laughs> kind of a teal color. It's a little bit like more blue than green. So I don't know if it's like a true teal, but mm. it's like one of my favorite colors. Yeah. So I get to look at it all the time, which is great. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, okay, so question number two, um, you know, attending KBCC, um, can I ask what program you're in and what do you hope to go towards? You're I'm in, yeah, I'm in the liberal studies program right now and taking like a billion English classes. And I really want to study either English or creative writing. I don't really know exactly where yet, but I'm thinking of going to the University of Maine in Farmington, which is just a really cool school. So. Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome, yeah. Um, so question number three, um, you know, being in KVCC for over a year now, just about to graduate, which is awesome, yeah. congratulations. Um, with technology this year is such a huge aspect of learning right now. Um, can you tell me two things? I'll break it up in two. One great thing that you love about technology, and then the one that we all love to talk about, um, how much we hate, and the thing that we hate the most. So, yeah, I think my favorite thing is I feel like some things are more accessible to students now. Like, I feel like I can work with more students with tutoring. I work as a writing tutor um, and I think I can I've had more students reach out to do video chat and things like that. And maybe they wouldn't have been able to do that before if they weren't taking classes on campus or whatever. Um, so I, I like that aspect of it. Um, I think. The thing that bothers me about technology is um, in classes, I feel like it's harder like to get students to speak up and contribute. Like there's always like the Zoom lag or, you know, waiting to see if someone else is going to say something or you're in like breakout rooms with one other person who's not very talkative and it's just awkward. Like I think there's just a lot of like social awkwardness that comes mm -hmm. with things like that. And especially in smaller classes, it can be hard. Mm -hmm. But I think also like you kind of have to push through it. So mm -hmm. maybe it makes us better students in some ways to have to deal with that stuff, but yeah. it, it can be rough. Um, so the next question, if you um, met a new trio person, what advice would you give them um, being part of the trio program? I would say just not to be afraid to reach out for help and to take advantage of any opportunities you can to connect with the community because I know for me like that's what's made the huge difference for me in college is having a community and you know having people to ask for help and just feeling like I'm not alone in a lot of things I, yeah. and I was homeschooled so I never really had that before in, in my education and it's become a really important part of for me yeah. in college so that would be my yeah. advice is try to connect with people yeah all right awesome well one more question before we wrap this all up you've been fantastic by the way um rock in the background teal um 
the last question is um, what resource would you do you find helpful and um, would you want to share any other uh, resources or last minute you know helpful tips for students new students for coming uh, coming back students yeah yeah I would say the library is a really incredible resource um, Barbara Bartley especially I think is amazing for anything that you need help with as far as research or anything like that um, or getting books or anything. She's just such a wealth of information. Um, yeah, I would say the library is pretty great. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, she, Laurel, thank you for taking this time with me. Um, there's only one thing left that I asked to do and we have to end this meeting with a wave snaps and claps. I mean, that's kind of like the trio. Wave, I mean, of right? course, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't course, feel so. right otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> right all right so like i like to do like this weird like i'm loosening up i'm getting ready i hope i don't glitch out as i'm like doing this but all right oh, that so would be hilarious this... though <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go ready three two one Ooh, all right and then and boom all right nice. laurel doral thank you for taking the time and um yeah thanks thank you thank you thank you for having me all right have a good day you too